So today I'm going to answer the question, what is fibromyalgia? I'm Dr. Mark Daly. I am a certified functional medicine practitioner, doctor of chiropractic with advanced education in functional endocrinology, functional blood chemistry, the brain and neurotransmitters, and advanced thyroid function. I'm the president of Birmingham Functional Medicine and the founder of Fibromyalgia University and Fibromyalgia Heroes, which is a coaching and implementation recovery program. Now, according to Mayo Clinic, Fibromyalgia is a disorder characterized by widespread muscle pain accompanied by fatigue, sleep, memory, and mood issues. Researchers believe that fibromyalgia amplifies painful sensation by affecting the way your brain and spinal cord process painful and non-painful signals. Symptoms often begin after an event like a physical trauma, surgery, infection, or significant psychological stress. In other cases, symptoms gradually accumulate over time with no single triggering event. Women are more likely to develop fibromyalgia than men, and many people who have fibromyalgia also have tension headaches, TMJ disorders, irritable bowel syndrome, anxiety, and depression. While there is no cure, this is again the Mayo Clinic, um, for fibromyalgia, a, vi a variety of medications can help control symptoms. Exercise, relaxation, and stress reduction measures also help. Now, symptoms of fibromyalgia. The primary symptoms of fibromyalgia include widespread pain. The pain associated with fibromyalgia often is described as a constant dull ache that has lasted for at least three months. To be considered widespread, the pain has to occur on both sides of your body and above and below your waist. Fatigue is another major symptom. People with fibromyalgia often wake tired even though they report sleeping for a long period of time. Sleep is often disturbed by pain and many patients with fibromyalgia have other sleep disorders such as restless leg syndrome and sleep apnea. Then there are cognitive difficulties, a symptom commonly referred to as fibro fog. It impairs the ability to focus, pay attention, and concentrate on mental tasks. Now, fibromyalgia often coexists with other conditions like IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, chronic fatigue syndrome, migraine headaches, and other headaches, um, interstitial cystitis, TMJ disorders, as I mentioned, anxiety, depression, and postural tachycardia syndrome. Unfortunately, now this is uh, me interjecting, if you've been diagnosed with fibromyalgia, you're actually no closer to getting better. There are a number of medications that have been used to treat fibromyalgia symptoms like gabapentin, Cymbalta, and Lyrica. Treating the symptom is not the same as finding the cause of the problem. Now, I am a functional medicine practitioner, and we have a method and protocol for addressing chronic conditions like fibromyalgia. And after 15 years of working with fibromyalgia patients, I have recognized that the gastrointestinal system is the source of many chronic conditions. Not because the pain comes from your gut, but because the gut or gastrointestinal system is really like the hub of a wheel with spokes that go to every other area of your body. Now, if you're interested in learning the true cause of your fibromyalgia symptoms, I have a master class that reveals the true cause. And I have to tell you a, a little um, a spoiler alert. There is always more than one layer of dysfunction. You can even hear some of my patients after they've walked through this functional medicine protocol, and I think you'll see yourself in them and find that very interesting. Um, I'll leave a link in the description, and I have uh, many videos on YouTube, our YouTube channel, so if you've benefited from this video, please like and subscribe, and I will be sure to put out other helpful information on this topic. Thanks so much. God bless you. 
Have a great day.